What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our second part of our Derby Day Madrid pack review. So we've already done Real Madrid. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. If you are in, have spun one of the Real Madrid players, Courtois, Vinny Jr., Cabavinga or Alaba. But now we are going to be focusing on their rivals, Atletico Madrid. So I've decided to split this video, obviously, because uh, there's a lot to discuss with these players, because I think a lot of people will spin, especially newcomers, right? So we are going to start with Marcus Lorente, one of my favorite players to use in eFootball 2022. He's kind of fallen off with eFootball 2023. I know a lot of people still rave about him. Um, but we're going to be showing you a training guide for him. We're going to show you two training guides for him. He does have some insane stats, lads, right? He starts off as a box-to-box -box 83 center, 83 center midfielder rated, uh, 89, 83 speed, 84 stamina, 80 defensive engagement. Off to a good start for a center midfielder. That's going to be a box-to-box. -box. Um, but I think the biggest problem with his card, that's he's just kind of, there's better players than him there, in my opinion. I think, you know, Goretzka, Kimmich, they're kind of better in that role um, of being defensive minded while also being able to get forward really 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 aggressively so we are going to train up Lorente here he does have some nice shots he doesn't have one touch pass which is a bit of a pity on this card but we do have two builds one of them doesn't really need the one touch pass so we have to up the pass in a good bit which is this one um we're going to up the pass in nine going to up dribble in 11 dexterity 10 and lower body four so we're going to completely ignore defensive uh, capabilities with this one we are just going to be using him as a kind of an orchestrator a creative type player that's going to be getting in and around the box and also being able to defend naturally enough because of his defensive engagement and his aggression at 79 now there is a couple of weak points on this card obviously and i think that if you are using looking for a player like this i definitely recommend pedri um ahead of somebody like this because you know there's no point even when you match out and you put 11 into dribbling you're still only going to be getting 82 tight possession which i think tight possession is a huge uh stat now in the in v2.4 gameplay and the same with stamina you do have a good bit of stamina here as well but the next build that we get is probably going to be an ideal build for this player and you're not turning him into something that he's not now he's still a 93 overall which funnily enough um this guy, the second build of him, is a 93 overall as well, and we've trained him up completely different, right? So, straight off the rip, we've just focused on two areas. We've kind of turned him into a Goretzka-type player, so we're not going to focus too much on um say dribbling passing like we did in the last one we're not going to be looking for killer passes with Lorente. ideally if we are playing this marcus Lorente card we would be playing a deep sitting dmf and then we'd have marcus Lorente kind of playing uh, a role like enzo fernandez plays where he's mopping up everything or Kante used to play for for uh, Chelsea and France where he's mopping up everything basically stopping everything passing lanes all that and just a pure engine and that's how we've trained him this way and I think it's best if you do train him this way because you still have ball control dribbling in the 80s low pass 82 and then look at the defensive stats right you've got 91 aggression 81 defensive awareness 83 tackling and 92 defensive engagement you've also got track back and interception and fighting spirit on this card but we've also got 94 stamina and 93 speed so with the weighted v2.4 is gone stamina obviously makes a big difference now i think they will patch it a little bit next week um when they see how op it is at the moment to have stamina uh, at the end of games but yeah you're going to be getting a card here that's really 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 box to box energizer bunny you know an absolute beast in the middle of the pitch and when you get the ball when you actually do disrupt the play you have enough stats to pass you have enough to dribble you have enough to do everything except shoot so i would definitely recommend this build uh, miles ahead of the other build Moving on, we do have Grizzy Griezmann. Now, right, bit of a disappointment with Griezmann because he does have in his thumbnail picture here, he does have on the card, he has the, the pink hair, which look, little things like this is what kind of, you know, it, it just little details, man, little details like this because Griezmann's card is actually quite underrated, right? Number one, you've got double touch, you've got rising shot and heel trick and first time shot. So you've got shooting and dribbling uh, skills, uh, player skills, like skill dominant um is our double touch is very dominant heel trick is very dominant as skills but you've also got first time shot but then you've got true passing and pinpoint crossing right he also has long ranger trickster amazing run and incisive run so he's going to be very very difficult to track when the ai are trying to close him down and you're not you know you're not being defended manually by your opponent He's also got super sub and unwavering form. Now, he is on D rating, but I expect that to change next week. So being, you know, a super sub is going to make this card even more valuable, especially with the way stamina has gone. You will definitely, definitely 100% want super subs. I will be doing a video on that as well. 
Similarly to Lorente, we can train Griezmann in multiple ways. It is a pity he doesn't have the pink hair, man. I know it's something, you know, tiny, but it just, you know, not not to have him kind of looking a bit stupid compared to his card, I think it would be nice because we saw with Gavardil, um that he did have his face mask, like the Batman face mask. So it would have been nice to get that here as well. So going along with his stats, this is how we train him up. So the first version of Griezmann is a shooting kind of player, a shooting SS, right? So we're going to be trying to play him like Dybala or Messi. We don't have blister and pace. We're not going to have blister and anything really. It's just more about dribbling, ball control and finishing and curl. You can see their 85 finishing with the 10 shooting uh, attributes and eight into cur or 88 curl with 10 into that as well. Now we've got good free kicks as well. We don't really need that. Um, you know, you do need a free kick taker in the 90s, probably, if you want to be scoring consecutively, uh, consistently. We've also got 80 stamina and 80 acceleration, which isn't bad for a player that's going to be, as I said, very similar to Messi, obviously explosive on the ball, and be able to shoot with that left foot of his with, you know, curl shots. Even though they're nerfed a bit, you bring him on the 70th minute for a super sub, you're going to be able to score a couple of goals. The second build we have him is more balanced, right? So even though this guy is 92 or 93 overall, the shoot kind of centric um, SS, I think this 92 overall rated version of him is actually better across the board, right? So you've still got 80 finishing and 83 curl because we've put, we've put five into shooting instead of 10. You've also got balance and acceleration and offensive awareness even higher. And then we've all, it's all about ball control and passing. That's kind of where we want this guy to be. We want to sit him in an AMF role and play him as a direct AMF just behind our two strikers or else behind our front three of two wingers and a striker that you can have little triangles with your four um attack and offensive players right so i do think that's a perfect whole player uh build you've got first time shot you've also got true passing and then you've also got double touch and heel trick as well as the super sub attribute to come on or the player skill to come on so moving on to alvaro moreto we moreta we have got moreta here who we don't really need to train him up multiple ways i mean i don't think moreta is worth training to be honest with you no matter which way you train him you're not going to get finishing offensive awareness or acceleration into the 90s no matter how you train him you just don't have enough points um without completely neglecting everything i mean if we were just to take away even just to show you take away every dribble here and literally just put it up you know into shooting we're only going to get 88 shooting if we were to put it up into dexterity we're going to get 87 acceleration so i personally think that you do need dribbling now with the way the game is gone and obviously that's going to be something that you guys you know think of yourselves now he does have super sub he does have heading and acrobatic finishing and first time shot he also has one touch pass so you can kind of play a little bit like Burkamp that way um if you kind of have him in the hole if you're not playing an amf and you have like you know a two-pronged attack one in front of the other um in kind of like an arrow formation but yeah i think Murado is a very disappointing player in this um you know and he's only got like standard form as well um which is a bit of a pity and look again with these players that you're going to be using you just have to you just have to look in the standard GP market and see that there's better players there. Now, last but not least, in the Atletico Madrid pack, we do have Molina, who is a very, very decent player as well, unwavering form. He's on B rating. His player skills are a bit lacking, a bit disappointed with that. Obviously, it could have been a lot better. Um, but he does have pinpoint crossing, which kind of focuses this card on where we want to train him, early crosser and pinpoint crossing. So he can play right mid, and that's probably where I'd play him because of his defensive uh his lack of defensive capabilities, but he does have everything else that you could possibly want for a right midfielder type player that can get balls into the box, right? Even though they've kind of nerfed the crossing a little bit, you can still score a lot of goals if you get good at it. There's a bit more skill in it now, I think, or a bit more randomness in it. Um, they've kind of like, yeah, they've kind of, we'll do a video on that and get into it, but good ball control, dribble, tight possession, brilliant lofted pass. That's where we're going to focus this card, lofted pass and acceleration. We're not going to focus too much on uh, defense, but we will still help out the team with 85 stamina, 87 speed, and then all the tackling and defensive uh, capabilities there in the 70s. So it's not a bad card. Um, is it going to get into your card if you've been playing the game for maybe, or go, get into your team if you've been playing the game for maybe two months? No, I don't think so. I think there's a lot of better options out there, including his Argentina pack, um, I think, which was way better uh, because of the levels that you could train him up. This guy only has 27 levels, so that is a bit of a pity. But that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. He's kind of very much on par with this player of the week version they released of him, um, except this card obviously has better passing. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's the training guide. And let me know if you spin or skip. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.